Hey guys, this is Blizzard Sun 522 here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make your very own bucket server. So, what you want to start out with is make a new folder called Bucket Server on your desk desktop. Uh, I do it this way because it's much easier. And then, what you want to do is open up this page, which I'll put in the link in the description below. And then, right here, you want to click Craft Bucket Recommended Build. We click on it and it might take a bit to load and then you want to click on save and save it into your desk desktop and then we don't need this page anymore and um, let me wait until it finishes downloading okay now that it is finished downloading uh should appear somewhere on your desktop this is your desk desktop thing and then you drag the craft bucket jar and drag it into bucket server and then you open your bucket server and then there you have it the craft bucket dot jar but no 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 you're not done I, I kind of I, I, I kind of went ahead a little bit and then you make a new text document called starter.txt and then you open it with notepad and then you want to paste this code in this code it will be the code that I'll put in the description so you guys can just copy that and paste it into uh, your own text document and then what we want to do is file save as starter dot bat starter dot bat it's a certain file and then you want to save file as type all files let me zoom in for you so you guys can see see right here I uh, put the file name as starter dot bat and save as type all files all files and you click save and I back to full screen and we don't need this anymore and you see a starter.txt thing here we don't need that you can go ahead and delete it and then now let's go ahead and run our starter.bat you can right click it and no wait actually no just double click it w with your left the left key on your mouse and right here it will say like uh, can't find all these files so it just creates these files for you and then uh, what we Plugins is uh, where we're mainly gonna, p or where you're gonna put all your plugins, all the cool stuff you can put in. And then world, world nether, it's the same thing on single player pretty much. And then right here it's sp uh, preparing the spawn area, so um, uh, we'll just wait for that. It's just like pretty much downloading terrain on single player, it goes like downloading terrain for, yeah, or like building terrain or something like that. And then right here it says banned IPs. Uh, let me show you guys what this whole thing is about. Now in banned IPs, uh, uh, what you want to put in, in, well you don't have to, but say someone's really annoying you and you know the IP, just go like blah blah point blah blah point blah 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 point blah 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 blah. Say that's the IP and then like and click file, save. So that person's computer or network can't get into your server anymore no matter how much accounts he has so that's a pretty go good feature and then band players this is kind of self-explanatory you just put band players in there say Bob annoyed me I kinda wanna ban him screw you griefer yeah okay and then um the ops what yeah I'm gonna put my own name in there which is gonna be wizard7913 you don't have it just put your name in there I think it's case sensitive and don't do any spaces or stuff like that and if you if say I want to make my little brother um an op too I can put enter and then do warrior 75222 no nope, 75222 and uh and these two and then me and him will be ops which can do anything on the server unless you get permissions which is a whole different uh thing to talk about so let's not get into there and right here server log it it kind of looks kind of messed up all these coding stuff so uh i'm gonna put a link in the description below to download notepad plus plus it's this wicked helpful program that generates this like it, it makes uh this minecraft running a server so much easier to do the configuration and all that so what this tells you is like what everyone did say I used command slash give myself something something right here or say wizard so now they gave himself yada 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 so it's really helpful to catch griefers and all 
and the whitelist is just a whitelist. If you want to have a whitelist, then that's only certain people can go into. Like, say, I put my name onto there, and then I can get into the server, but no one else can. And say, I put my little brother's name onto there, only us two can get onto the server. So that's kind of easy, and now server.properties is what we want to focus on, mainly, if you just started. So right here it says level name world, I'm just going to keep it that way. Allow nether, true, yeah it's kind of fun, so I'm just, I, I, I want the nether. View distance 10, I'm not sure what that does, so I'm just going to keep that default. And then spawn monsters, true, yeah I, I, I want monsters. And online mode, you want to keep this to true. If you keep it to false, then people with hacked accounts, like they didn't non paid for accounts can get into your Minecraft server, which is kind of dangerous because they might know how to hack. So I, I just keep that on true. And spawn animals to true. I like animals. Yeah, they look kind of cool. And max plays, I'm just going to change it to 10 because the more you have, I think, uh, the more max plays you have. Say you have 5,000, I think it'll lag a little bit. So I'm just keep it right there. Server IP is wicked essential if you want other people to join your server. So. Uh, the server IP, I'll show you another video about how to, about port forwarding, which you need for your Minecraft server. Now, PvP, nah, I don't want people fighting each other. I'm going to put that to false. Oopsie, let me zoom in so you guys can see a puny bit better. And boop, 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 boop. Okay, it should be really easy to see now. You can see all the stuff that I talked about, and you can probably see it uh, on if you're doing it along with me. And level seed, it's just a level seed. You can put a seed into your world. And silver port, 25565, just keep it that way. Allow flight. I don't want people to fly on my server, so I'm going to keep it on false, which it was already false. I just decided to type it in again. And whitelist, hmm. Say I want a whitelist, I'll put it true. And then whatever I put into that whitelist is going to be save and then whatever I put into this whitelist is going to be who can go onto the server now let's get into this this server thing this server thing right here what I'm gonna do is click on to my minecraft launcher and I'm gonna launch minecraft and log into my server well th this server let's go and um, it generated a random world for me it might lag a bit the first time cause it's still like half rendering stuff but then eventually it should get a it should be okay and you have to keep this thing over here the command prompt thing whatever you guys like to call it you have to keep that open if you want the server to be on if say i say i do this right say i stop the server then it says stopping server saving chunks yeah yeah and then you press the key to continue then i can't get into the server it says connecting to the server and says connection refused, failed to connect to the server, yada yada. And then, so you have to have this op uh, open for if you want people to join your server and if you want you yourself to join the server to be able to. Now, I'm going to show you guys the in game commands real quick. It's kind of easy slash ban, it will open uh, someone sl slash ban dash IP and space and then the IP, whatever, whatever, and then it will ban the IP and then slash like. This is kind of good if you don't have too many items. Slash give wizard seven nine one three uh, forty six a hundred. Oh, huh. well, it's not giving me. It po it's probably because I already have this. Oh no 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 no! It drops it onto the ground for you, it, and then it only gives you sixty four. Voice crack. Okay, and that's pretty much it. For the uh, to make your own server, so if this helped you, please please drop a, a like. I really appreciate. It. Subscribe for more videos, cause I'm gonna show you guys how to make how to put plugins into your Minecraft server, which is gonna be wicked awesome. So hope this helped you guys. See ya. And if you have a question, put it in the comment section below. I, I, I'll be checking the comments wicked frequently. So you guys can just post any questions, post any problems into the comment section below. See you guys. Hope this helped. Have a nice day.